Well, the overarching question here is this use of executive privilege. Is it constitutional? Bruce Fine is a former associate attorney general. He served under President Ronald Reagan. Bruce, great to see you. It's been a while. Um, Thank you. Is the application here appropriate of executive privilege or not? No. When it comes to congressional oversight, it's almost plenary. I can recall when I was working in the Nixon administration that the House Judiciary Committee voted an article of impeachment against President Nixon for invoking executive privilege and refusing to comply with the subpoena. The most recent occasion when the battle between congressional oversight and the, the White House uh, was undertaken was when President Bush invoked privilege to protect Karl Rove and Harriet Myers, who are White House personnel, from testifying for the House Judiciary Committee on the firing of U.S. attorneys. Uh, the Judiciary Committee went to court to enforce a contempt citation, and they ultimately prevailed in the U.S. District Court before a judge who was appointed by President Bush, uh, John Bates, who was uh, what you'd call a conservative. Right. There really is a presumption in our Constitution that Congress is entitled to virtually every scrap of paper sure. to make our government transparent, and that's basically well, what the law is. And if this case went to court, I'm qu quite confident the the president and Mr. Holder would lose. What we're hearing from the White House, Bruce, is, well, there were some discussions uh, among top aides at the White House about how to handle the fast and furious political fallout. Uh, that is completely unrelated, apparently, to the documents being sought over at the Department of Justice. Doesn't there have to be a nexus between the two in order to evoke uh, executive privilege? I'm not sure the privilege itself automatically requires that the president be involved or the White House be involved, but certainly the strength of the privilege weakens the more remote it comes from the White House here. And you also have this odd situation where the Department of Justice has already turned over thousands of documents relating to the deliberative process within the department. And it seems a little bit unseemly for them to say, oh, but we'll withhold the ones that we don't want you to see, because that enables then the department to manipulate what the Congress knows and what the people know by disclosing what they think is helpful and withholding what they think is incriminating, that's something that's simply not tolerated in the law. If you have a privilege and you start to disclose information, even the privilege against self-incrimination, then you waive any right to withhold anything else to avoid being able to manufacture a false uh, scenery. All right. Bruce Fine, a former associate deputy attorney general. Bruce, great to see you. Thanks very much. Thank you.